Welcome. Today I'd like to show you the noise of antimatter perbulgulator, or short BBG. It can be described as a multifunctional tool with three inputs and nine outputs which perform different operations on the incoming signals. It is similar to a classic logic module, but with different operations. The inputs are called X, Y and Z, the outputs of all sections a, B and C. The first section with the first three outputs is the ADD section. Each output sums two of the three inputs together, so one output for every combination. Here we patch two triggers in input X, two different triggers in input Y and a random gate in input Z. The upper output, output C, adds input X and Y together, so it puts out all the triggers except the random one. We use that for the hi-hats. Output B combines the triggers from input Y with the random ones from input Z. We can use it for the clap. The kick is triggered by a multiple of the triggers going to input X. If we trigger it from output A, the random gates are added. We now have a simple generative beat within the given parameters. Section 2 of the BBG is SUB, which performs subtractive operations on the in and output combinations. Here we patch two LFOs with different speed and a short gate sequence into the BBG. By subtracting one voltage from another, the put-out envelopes will be more complex and can be useful to interact with each other, for example by modulating various parameters on a synthesizer voice. The CPX section performs different operations combining addition and subtraction. Here we have the synth voice driven by a simple clock and pitched by a random voltage. We patch the random CV into Z input, clock goes into X and another envelope into Y input. C output sums up all three signals, creating a more complex envelope, which we patch into the synthesizer gate in. Output B performs the operation X plus Y minus Z. 
we control the LFO speed with it. Output A's operation is X minus Y minus Z. We use this signal to control the frequency of a filter. If you patch only one input, BBG provides buffered multiples of that signal, some of them inverted. The CPX output C, which sums up all inputs, can also be used as a mixer for CV or audio. The BBG can serve as a comparator. By self-patching the CPX output C into any input. When the incoming signal now passes 0 volts, we get a gate opened or closed at the inverted outputs the other way around. When we patch a second signal, we get a comparison of both inputs. If we patch two VCOs or audio signals and do the same self-patching like before, we can achieve a ring modulation-like effect.
Here's an example in which we use all the section of the BBG to make a very simple random beat more interesting. We use the three random gates which you can hear now in original state. Now we use the BBG to trigger the drums, synchronize a delay and modulate the frequency of a filter in the end of the chain. Modulator proves to be a great helper for complex and interesting modulations and creating generative sequences. It works out pretty quick and intuitive and the expressive LED indication of the ongoing voltages is very helpful. Due to its size of only 4 HP and its many functions, the BBG is also very interesting for smaller systems. I hope you found this helpful and to see you around next time with some more patch examples and tutorials. Take care. Bye.